Hello humans and otherwise, I am Adesia and welcome back to my blind let's play of Dragon Quest XI! I said before in the last video that it was a little while since I was able to play this game, and it happened again because I ended up having to move rooms from where I was at, and this one was really far away from the wireless signal. So I had no internet. Sure, this game doesn't require an internet connection at all, but it has achievements, and you typically can't get achievements on Steam unless you're connected to the internet, and if a game has achievements, I want to collect them. At least the ones I get for the main story, as I'm doing the Let's Plays here, of course. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't play this. But it's only been a week anyway, so it hasn't been too long, thankfully. Very fluff, but I got everything. I think I needed to uh, deal with my inventory. I just didn't. Yeah, because I got characters that have like no items. Oh well. Quest. Did you know, Traveler? That these fields are once part of a great kingdom? It's what I trust. They called it, and it's heyday, it's grandeur e equal that of Heliodor of Galop or Galopolis. Yes, it's a one night. The enormous room of monsters raised the entire nation to the ground. Now all that remains are ruins. Its former glory has been a distant memory. But some remnants yet linger. The souls of those who were slain on that fateful night are still bound to displaced by the weight of their grief. Oh, that's never good when this happens. Twisted by their fury at the monsters who destroyed their homeland, and by their frustration at being unable to protect it, they have become monsters themselves. Dead knots. Were they live knots previously? Night falls, they rise from their graves. Uh, what is this? Uh, altered beast? Rise from your grave! And prowl the ruins of Zrodrust. To turn for their failure and to assuage their wrath, they attack any whom they encounter on sight. Traveler, those fiends were once my kinfolk. I cannot bear to see them suffer so. With the end of torment and allow them their rest until I asked. Thank you, my friend. Our researchers in the art of exorcism have led me to believe that my former countrymen will only find peace if they are purified by means of a pet power known as care prayer. Your blonde haired companion is skilled in the art of curative magic, is she not? Perhaps she might know something of this ability. I bid you explore the ruins of Zorjus at night and meet with the dead knots. Say a care prayer for their eternal souls before defeating them, and you'll surely find peace at last. Okay, so have the person I ha always have in my party anyway. Target destroyed. Okay, so we're still over, over here now, trying to find the rainbow. My bow, this is. Many like it, there are, but mine, this one is. My best friend, my bow is. My life, it is. Master it, I must. And you are? Hmm. The master speaks not one of such as you. Or perhaps you might like to participate, hmm? If you wish to take part in the crossbow challenge, a master you must seek. In Galopolis City, he waits. Find him, you must. Speak with him, you must. I'm not so worried about that right now. Don't remember if we went into this well in the last episode or not? Probably not. Because that was kind of in a hurry to end the video because it was going on longer than I wanted it to. But either way, we're down here again. And I immediately thought of trying to use... Uh, oh, I can't remember the ability now from uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Ascend, yeah. Because I used that so much in wells to get out of the wells. <laughs> Even though it's been a while since I actually played Zelda. Saber catch! How do you attack first? Okay, they're great saber. Ah, that's why they're attacking me. They got mad that I ca didn't call them great saber cats. They were insulted by me not uh, giving them all the reverence of their great title. <laughs> like we're 
angry that you didn't address this properly, so now we're going to kill you. And she can feel. <laughs> yeah, the usual. I didn't do any kind of grinding or anything. I didn't do. I didn't even play this game at all since the last time I recorded. Ah! Oh, you got me puffed up. <laughs> On camera, it always resets. I can't see. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter in turn-based combat where uh, range doesn't actually matter. Eh, you got no MP. I mean, this isn't Grandia or anything, so it doesn't really matter in that regard. You can run around, but it's meaningless. Alright, level 20! Now... From the world for clues as to the rainbow's whereabouts. Okay, so... Uh, we were going to Dundra still, right? That was the goal? Well, of course, we're gonna wander around this area. Check it out. Fight enemies here and there. And as is classic in games, things that were once bosses are now normal enemies. I'd be really surprised when games stop doing that, because I don't see why they would stop doing that. It's a good way to show progression. Hey, the enemy they had a lot of trouble with previously because it was a boss is now a regular enemy because you're just that much more powerful. Oink. Score one for the good guys. I just keep getting better. You better be. Of course, one issue I know I definitely have here is because I end up sometimes taking a while between videos. I'll end up starting to repeat myself in terms of commentary because I don't remember having said it because it's been a while since I did. <laughs> so I'm probably doing that right now, unfortunately. But it's better than being completely silent, right? This will do sense. Well, I don't do what I've heard many Let's Players do in the past. Where they're so desperate to find something to say, they just keep saying the same thing over and over again, back to back, with basically no break in between. Ah, I was going to attack you, but... That was like, uh, with, uh, Sonic Mania. I don't watch a Sonic Mania Let's Play, and the person does... One of those people must keep talking. There must not be a single millisecond that I am not saying something. It's so, like... Every five seconds. This is the blind let's play. This is the blind let's play. This is the blind let's play. Like, we know. We already heard it ten times. Shut up.
Hey, they blocked it. I personally am not going to complain if you end up repeating certain things, like in the uh, various videos of the same Let's Play, or in uh, different Let's Plays, you know, doing the same kind of commentary. You tell the same story or whatever because you're just trying to say something so you're just not completely blank. You, know, you don't need dead air for a really, really long time. You know, I've been known to do that occasionally. <laughs> There's just nothing to say, unfortunately. I don't know, plenty of that in my uh, Zelda videos. Like I'm going uh, doing, going through the depths. There's just nothing there half the time to talk about. So I end up saying nothing for a while. Which is not conducive to a good Let's Play, but I had nothing to say. Can't even go in. Darn it. Well, there's ruins there. This isn't even where I wanted to go, really. I want to go to other places. I wasn't really paying attention to the map much, though. I was just busy talking. So what's over here, anyway? Besides monsters. Oh. I have gotten quite a surprise recently with my own videos. Shockingly, I've been getting a hell of a lot of views. Wrong person. <laughs> YouTube's like recommending the hell out of one of my recent Zelda videos that just released. I see that it's been, uh, like, yeah, it's been, like, recommended or auto-played, like, right after another video that's, like, completely unrelated. Some, sometimes they're Let's Play, sometimes they're other various things. It actually shows, it's like, hey, it was this video, they, this particular video that they came from. Like, one of the videos was even, like, a political or religious or something like what why <laughs> I actually have nothing to do with that I'm sure I bring it up occasionally when a game does but I stay out of it generally as I said repeatedly that's not what I want on this channel we did it darlings but a video that came out only like a couple days ago that's poison uh, there's like a hell of a lot of views! It's like, what? That seems crazy. Real soil, huh? Because that kind of thing doesn't happen with my videos. It just doesn't. Oh, I didn't press jump. Purple eye! Jumping over it do damage anyway. One of those stupid things. Oh yeah. It's like Final Fantasy 14. Your vertical doesn't matter, only your horizontal does. Just being over it damages you. It's annoying when games do that. Oh, that's that thing again. Well, I want to visit the ruins. I even can. I clearly see that it's locked. But there are two entrances! Yeah, the, the video's gotten a crap load of views out of nowhere, but uh, normally, under circumstances like that, I suspect that it's not... because of how my channel always normally does. I suspect that it's artificial, and it's like one person just refreshing it. Just, uh, you know, refreshing the video over and over and over again. It'd be fake views, but it, it's not. 
Especially in this case, it's definitely not. It's all real. <laughs> but the view time, what I normally look at is the standard stuff. Almost none. Almost none. Huh. That just goes on to like, I don't know where that goes. Oh, what the hell, let's go this way. Then we gotta go to Dungeon Seal, if I recall, right? I remember that name, it sounds familiar to me. Something went sent because I lost my train of thought. Or the, as I've heard before, train of thought derail. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was uh, my typical view time, which is measured in well. Seconds, usually. What I often see is like, oh, average view time, a minute. Or ten seconds. Or some crap like that. Yeah, I can't go off from here yet. Figured as much. But surprisingly, it is honestly legitimately a very big surprise to me, one of the people that ended up finding a video through another video that just, just like auto-played this or whatever, auto-played my Zelda video, they actually watched the whole darn thing. Well, almost all of it. Up, like, basically up to the part where, like, near the end of the video. Did I often stop videos right near the end, too, myself, so I don't blame them for that one. Usually when it's obvious they're about to end the video, I just stop. So people do the same thing to me, but fine. <laughs> it's only fair. <laughs> I, I didn't even see that, that's why I get the item. <laughs> Coagulant. Yeah, people watch the whole video up to like the last couple of minutes and they stop right there I'm like, yeah, that's fine. That's good view time. Besides, in the last couple of minutes, normally not much happens anyway. <laughs> it's usually when a person's like, oh, we're going to stop here. I, I often just uh, put, stop the video right there and move on to the next one because, well, they're, they're ending. All they're going to do is say, oh, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And if they have it only at the very end of the video, then I got no problem with that, because that's where it should be. Stop shoving it into other parts of the video where people can't just ignore it. That's why I only have it at the end of my videos. That way people don't have to watch it if they don't want to. Probably why I don't have many subscribers. Because I don't beg for people to do it. I'm never going to, either. There was uh, one, like, reaction video I was watching, and at the end of it, it was two people doing the reaction. And one guy was like, why didn't you subscribe? And the other guy was like, they didn't ask me to. They had to be, like, reminded to do it by being asked to in the video. If you need to be asked to subscribe to the channel in the video you watched, you weren't very interested in actually subscribing to the video, the channel. Subscribe to the video. <laughs> if you really liked the video and wanted to subscribe to the channel, you would simply do it. You wouldn't have to be asked to do it.
Ah! I was gonna say, that's probably gonna hurt! <laughs> ah, great. Veronica's down. Do I even have an item to... I don't think I have any way to revive anyone, actually. Well, this isn't good. Uh, you can have a. Yeah, you had Zing, okay. Yeah. Come on! I know it says it has a 50% success rate. So half the time the spell's gonna fail. It does say that. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I can't be a annoyed by the fact that it does that. Darn you, Spell, how dare you do exactly what you say you will! And miss a lot. Pissed off. Don't say I didn't warn you. But it's dead anyway, so does it matter? Okay, I use a ton of your MP trying to cast Zing over and over again. I use a bunch of MP, sure, but I'm glad I at least have the spell. Because restoring the MP is a lot easier than going back and worrying about reviving her. No. A yellow eye! No, I'm just going to continue building up skill points for a while. Whee! So, what's over here besides nothing, apparently? I mean, there is this chest over here. Necklace of Immunity. So what does that do exactly? Defend against poison. Eh. You're not even equipped with anything. Why are you not equipped with anything? You can defend against poison. You're not equipped with anything either. But I don't actually have any accessories for you. <laughs> Probably should get some accessories. Hey, I've been getting through the game with that, huh? I get, no. You can see a little path on the map there, but apparently you can't go there. I can only hope in the future that YouTube keeps recommending my videos like that. Maybe I'll find people that actually will decide to have subscribe and all that. Of course, I do know, I mean, it's ridiculously obvious, that the majority of people that watch your videos will not subscribe. That's just YouTube, period. <laughs> And what it seems to be, I've never actually looked into and asked anyone else, is like, is it usual that most people who look at your videos don't really watch any of it? Another former boss right there, basically. Victory! I really should uh, ask someone that. I do have a couple of YouTubers I actually could ask. I'm sure they give me an answer too. Like, how often is it? Why is there why is it slime icon here? Oh, it's my mount. 
Like, is it the usual thing to where most of your views have very low watch time? <laughs> It's like, I don't feel so bad about getting little watch time if that's just completely and utterly normal. And it always happens, no matter what. So what's you Can we even go here? This is, looks like it's an arena. Well, be it like, for example, once every one in every thousand people, oh, counter, <laughs> one in every thousand people will actually watch your video. Like, a good deal of the way through, rather than just, you know, leaving in literally seconds. It'd be nice if someone just tell me that if, in the comments of this video, but because this video is, you know, being recorded so crazy far ahead, I don't see why people would do that. Because, well, it will literally be several months between me making this video and it actually releasing. <laughs> so I'll probably have already looked it up by then. But there's no guarantee, so I'd still appreciate it if people would say so in the comments here, whether that's normal or not. These enemies are like, being all powerful and stuff. I mean, not as you get, sure. Like, like, do I need better equipment and such? Wouldn't surprise me, honestly. These things are hitting pretty hard. Oh, great. Well, I know it doesn't help that these enemies constantly buff themselves. And of course, Serena's got MP issues. Addy's getting MP issues too. Really need to find a well the enemy block to. <laughs> well I mean Savando can do it, so can they. <laughs> Endless backup. It's kind of annoying when this happens, but it's also useful because, you know, extra EXP and gold per monster kill. <laughs> I know I could have used a group spell instead of an all spell since it's all just the same kind of enemy here. It's all grublins. I was so used to using Bang. Yeah, getting all that EXP, yeah. Oh, an orange cat. I kind of figured that would happen. Oh, now she's pepped up too. Orange cacti. Wonder if there's citrus. <laughs> 
Oh no. <laughs> Serena! What are you laughing at? It's an orange cake that's in a silly dance. It's not that funny. Well, at least she's been laughing at it. But to be fair, I've done things like that too. I end up just finding something that honestly really isn't all that funny. To be so funny, I just keep laughing at it for a while. <laughs> Other people might like be like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny, and be done with it. I just keep stop. I just keep laughing about it. <laughs> oh, they might not find it funny at all. Because humor is subjective, after all. So, you know, did you get a horse bell? So what do we have in here besides, well, obviously an arena? Looking at this place, I immediately think, can I exchange my mini medals here? Is there a place to do that here? Ah, Octagonia. Home of muscular brutes beating the bejesus out of each other. I've always wanted to visit. I wouldn't mind doing arena battles either. Great. They're fans of Hendrik, huh? I hate this place already. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, handsome. Y'all here to take part in the tournament? You sure oughta. The masked martial arts meet is where all the biggest fighters make their names. <laughs> What's it say? Show the world what you've got in the greatest fighting contest anywhere in Erdria. Awesome prizes available. A tournament, eh? I thought she was going to invite you to a boring old dance or something. I wonder what the masks are for. What's that at the bottom? All bouts to be held in the rooftop arena. I suppose that must be on top of the big building over there. Yeah. Okay, this will be I'm going to do anyway. Uh... So it's like it's been, it keeps. They yeah, say. So yeah, I said it before, it, the, the music seems to keep overwhelming the voice, even though it wasn't doing that before, and I'm having problems with that, so I'm training on the volume. Welcome to Octagonia, y'all! This is where the world's best fighters come to duke it out. Ah, shucks. I'm gonna give you my spiel, ain't I, honey? So, you gonna join the fight in fun? You are, you better mosey on over the registration counter and put your name down, fight over there, under the statue of Sir Hendrick. That's a problem. It's under Sir Hendrick. I don't like that guy. Yeah, let's take a break here. Been doing a lot of stuff. I even have enough points for anything here. Got metal slash, so that's nice. Critical hit chance when wielding. Uh, six point attack power when wielding plus six. Ah, good chance of getting pepped up. Not enough for that.
I do want to know what's there, though. But I don't have enough skill points for it. Veronica! Maximum MP when wielding that. Staff of Salvation. Huh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep using this, but at the same time going down here... Just... Plain straight resistances. I mean, this is just maximum MP period. This is maximum MP when wielding this particular weapon. Don't even have points for that. Yeah. Let's give me more maximum MP, please. All right, Silvando. Now this is knives. I don't have you wielding knives. This is whips. Yeah, I decided to use this stuff and I still need more skill points for things. Yeah, you're the one that wields knives. Assassin's Stab. Wait, I was able to... Ah. Right, this is... if It's yellow if we can learn something, right? I think that's what it was. I think that's how that works. Damage to demons and such. Let's make your healing stronger. Yeah. But yeah, I can at least open this to see what it is now. Miracle Slash? Well, I remember that ability. I think it'd be a good idea to learn it, too. Right. Does anyone else have something that can unlock immediately? You know, reveal what the skill is, anyway? Uh, no. Okay, nothing else there. No, not that. Yes, save. You can see the dates. Yeah, okay, it's been longer than I thought. <laughs> you can see the dates of when I played this, though. May to, to July to August. <laughs> you see the gaps between my videos. Hey, look! It's the rainbow! It's got to be! Looks like it might be! The merchant who bought it from the Sultan of Galopolis must have sold it to the tournament organizers. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Have to enter the tournament. <laughs> nope. It means we're gonna have to win it. And then magically everyone disappears. So of course they do. 
course, it's first prize. Second prize. Hey there, welcome to Octagonia. If you want to throw your hat into the ring? He's not wearing a hat, though. Take part of the MMA tournament. You've come to the right place. This is a registration desk. A little simple. Each fight is between two pairs of fighters, and everybody has to wear a mask. Fighters are paired off at random. So it makes it fun. Luck of the draw. So keeps folks coming back every year. Come around, got some very special prizes indeed. Best one of all is the rainbow. I don't believe the lakes of the mayor went to get a hold of that thing. Now you look like you've done some fighting you. How about it? You want to give the MMA tournament a try? Not yet. Come back any time so I can change your mind. I mean, I saw equipment and such over here. I saw equipment shops. And that looked like it was downstairs. Hey, dog. I'm going to pet you. Kind of pet you, more like just casually waving my hand just above your head. Not actually petting you. It said fighters are being paired off at random. Makes me wonder if it'll be like, uh... Will I be paired off with just some random dude? Random NPC, or is it gonna be some random person in my party? Could like any of my party members? That's gonna be weird. I don't know. Find out though. My husband gets a little carried away when it comes to these big events. He's already headed up to prepare for the MMA tournament. I guess I won't be seeing him for a while. Guess not. A garter! I'm not exactly looking for that. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to find. Okay, is that. Yeah, leggy lingerie that should have raised an eyebrow or two. Well, it raises your defense and charm. It looks like only you can equip it. I didn't see anyone else be. Yeah, so. Well, to be fair, it might be too small for Veronica. I mean, too big, rather. Veronica's too small for it. The whole of Octagonia is gearing up for the MMA tournament. So what do I got to work, huh? Man, I wish I could just kick back on the cold one and watch the fighting. Maybe I'll just quit this job and get another one when the tournament's done. Not really the best idea. Like, every time there's a tournament, I'm gonna quit my job and then get a different job. Just so I can watch it. Like, I see a, a rat. Yeah, a rat ran out from underneath the barrels. There's a couple of them, actually. Okay, we have an armor shop. Well, it's better shield for those two. It's stone hard hats. I got 11,000 gold. Malleable mask is better. Chance of being paralyzed reduced by... Yeah. It's, it, it, it's just... It's just straight better than the Iron Helmet, period. It's also a lot more expensive. Yeah, the Stone Hard Hat's like cheap stuff. Like, if you want the best, you grab the Malleable Mask. Something in the bag so you can carry this? Actually, yes, that's a good idea. Well, yes, I do. This resistance to paralysis is, of course, very useful.
And if I just give everyone this... Yes, including Eric. I have no money now. <laughs> so let's sell some old gear. Sell that too. The best way to do this, get rid of all these old gear. I mean, it still won't be enough money in the end to do much. Right, like. You might not be able to get it back if you sell that. So maybe you shouldn't do that. Yes. Let's get a bronze sword. And a bandana. Both wayfarers clothes. This feathered cap. These iron broad swords. Yeah, a random soldier sword is like, you can't sell that. Well, you can, but it's not necessarily a good idea. So spending 10,000 coins at once. <laughs> well, yes, to just spend 10,000 coins at once. Uh, I did just bought hats for everybody. What do you have for weapons? Could certainly use better weapons. It's a great sword, but I'm using a regular sword. Of course, great sword does more damage, but you can't use a shield and such that way. Well, I won't be able to use like metal slash and such either. Confusing enemies and attacking. Item in battle. Well, let's just stick with the steel broadsword. Yes. Sell the rapier. Okay, got some better equipment now. Somewhat, anyway. Everyone's got that mask. Those silly gold platters that could be useful. I don't have enough for that. Oh, really look what, what other defense I can get. Nah. Any more money? Well, I suppose this will have to do for now. Everyone did get a better helmet. I got a better sword for Eddie. So that's nice. And going to stop right here. Gonna enter the tournament next time. Try to win the rainbow. So. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video! If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in a link in the description.